Hi everyone, Damien Fate here, and today I'm trying out Besiege for the first time. Uh, if you haven't heard of this game, it's uh, it's by Spiderling Studios. It's an indie game, and it's all about building a machine uh, that can achieve various goals. I'm trying out for the first time today, so I'm probably not going to be very good at it, uh, but we're going to see how we go. Uh, so I'm on the first world here, and I'm going to choose Zone 1, which is probably the easiest one. I have seen a couple of videos on this, uh, so I do know more about uh, the game rather than just going in completely blind like I normally do. <laughs> okay, so the start of the level you get your little uh, your little home block piece here which is needed for every uh, machine that you make and you basically attach things to it and I'm, I'm moving the mouse around right now and I can see uh, I can put these little wood blocks here. Uh, so we're gonna make a machine that can destroy this house, this nice little farmer's house. I don't know why we're destroying it. They probably did something bad. Look at that. <laughs> Oh, look at the little farmer. He's got a lot of attitude. He needs destroying, actually. Look at that. <laughs> okay, so, uh, oh, it's actually giving some tips on the left-hand side. First, build some wooden blocks uh, onto the sauce cube. Oh, that's what it's called, the sauce cube. Okay, what, let's go ahead and uh, we'll do it like it's showing right now, uh, just because we don't know much about how it all works. Uh, I've certainly never played with a menu before or anything, so uh, aside from what I've seen in videos, which doesn't tell you too much. Okay, so I've got that just like it wants. Uh, get some wheels on. Okay, that seems like it should be simple enough. It's very easy to just pop these down. Uh, are these going to go the same direction? Oh, they do. Okay. I was worried that they were going to go like the opposite direction or something. Okay, so the next step is to uh, place your machine on the ground. Oh, here it is. There's the option. Okay. Then press Oh, all right. So this uh, button up here is the uh, it starts the simulation, and then we can move it with the up and down arrows. Oh, look at that! Yay! Uh, can I turn left and right? Oh, well, I can't turn left and right, but I can destroy this guy's house pretty easily. <laughs> I kind of want to get the farmer too. He's got all of that attitude there. Uh, let's get his sheep. Brr. Nope, I can't. I'm actually stuck. <laughs> uh, but I completed the first level. Hooray! Let's go to the next one. Okay, Southern Mill, and uh, this time it's a, it's a windmill I have to destroy, and it's on a little hill. So, I guess this thing's not going to work. Let's go ahead and try it out and see if it works. I probably need something that has a bit of a, a taller structure. Oh, look at that! Yeah, I can't quite get it. Oh, but I flipped! I flipped, I'm, a, I'm still going. <laughs> That's cool. Okay, let's go ahead and hit the uh, stop button here. Let's add some more things to it. So, since this is a taller building... Let's see, a brace now. Maybe we just make a big uh, tall thing that sticks out in front of us, like this. Yeah, that should work if we just poke the windmill down. Here we go, and po- oh, it needs to be longer. <laughs> that wasn't long enough, okay fine. Let's pop it out here, there we go. <laughs> I call this machine the thing longer. Ah, oh, that was easy. Nice. It's gonna get a lot harder than that though, and they have like three worlds I think you can go to now, or at least two. Okay, so now I just have to reach in that specific spot. Hmm. How to use the camera? Right click. Yes. Well, I already know how to do that. Uh, middle mouse click will focus on a block or environmental object. Oh, okay, so you can do that to sort of move around. Oh, I want to get back to my machine. Over here, thank you. Uh, scroll in, yep, that, zoom, easy. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, that's boring. Uh, so, now I need to figure out how to steer. Ah, look here, I've got a hinge uh, that I can steer with. So, how do we attach that to our machine? Can I, like, right-click to get rid of these blocks? How do I get rid of a block here? Um, key mapper, erase ball. Ah, here we go. Boop, 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 boop. So maybe we'll start from scratch and we'll add uh, a hinge to our machine. Let's get rid of all these. Can I, like, drag click? No, I have to click each one. Okay, so let's start with um, a piece coming out like this. We'll do a hinge. What's this? Control with left and right. Oh, yeah, that's obvious. Um, hmm. Is this gonna work? Aha! Okay, let's do a small wooden block here. And we're gonna make it kind of like a regular car. So I've got a front axle here. I'm gonna put some wheels on. One there, one there. 
And uh, I guess I only need to make the front hinge. Uh, the back probably doesn't need to hinge at all. It probably would go... Uh, it would follow the front wheels just fine, hopefully. Okay, here we go. Nice little machine. Let's hit play. Let's try... Oh, look at that! Wow! Oh man, it really does turn, doesn't it? Okay, let's try driving through this area. Oh, my camera's not following the machine, and my machine broke. Oh no. Okay, let's try again. Uh, is my camera going to follow the machine this time? Hmm. Is there like a shortcut to hit play? Are you leaving me, cat? Okay, bye. <laughs> it's probably for the best. Okay. Uh, no, the camera isn't following. Ah, here we go, here we go. So I just need to reach that thing at the back. I'm just going to go ahead and drive around. There's no need to try and avoid all the bombs. Here we go. It's in here. Oh, don't turn too much. You're going to snap. Okay. Get past this bomb. Oh, yeah. Awesome. <laughs> that, was, that was cool. Okay, what's it going to give me next? Okay, so now I have to destroy some buildings that are behind uh, a big stone wall. Hmm. So, should I try destroying the stone wall? Do I have any weapons yet? Let's see. I don't know if anything's like unlocked and you have to unlock it later by uh, doing harder levels. No, it's it's giving me all the weapons right here. Okay, flight. <laughs> oh, man, I don't think we're ready to fly yet. Let's uh, let's learn how to to walk first. Um, hmm. If I do the tall thing again, that could be pretty cool. Um, I kind of want to use a weapon though. Let's see, can I use like a projectile weapon? There's a spike ball, a metal blade, circular saw, a drill. A drill seems like a good option actually. So let's go back to blocks here. We're gonna make a drill that sticks out the front of our vehicle. And hopefully that will be big enough to get the um, the windmill. Where do, where's the weapons going? Here they are. Okay, so a drill intersection. What does that mean? Oh, is it sticking outside the box? Ah, uh, yeah, it's quite outside the box. Okay, that's fine. Let's go ahead and... Um, no, don't destroy. I want to remove a block. Here we go. Remove that block. Now we can put the drill. Aha! Awesome. <laughs> it doesn't look that great, though, does it? Uh, hmm. If I could move these front wheels back a little bit, that might be better. Um, hmm. This is definitely going to need some soft support as well, I think. So let's get some blocks down here to hold it up. Eh. That looks so great. <laughs> um, maybe if we put a little bit extra back support here. Like this. And get little blocks in here. And now it's starting to look sturdy like a, a nice wall machine. Uh, brace. I don't want to do that just yet. Wooden panels. Hinges. Swivel joints. Ball joints. Half pipe? I don't know what that is for. Uh, let's have a look at weapons again. A water cannon. A flamethrower. Well, that seems like it would destroy what I want to destroy. Let's put those on the front. <laughs> nice. What's the button for flamethrower? Why? Okay. Let's have three of those on the front. We can angle them because they're on the, uh, the front axle. So that could be pretty cool. Let's try it out. Let's see how we do. Okay. Well, it didn't, uh, it didn't explode straight away. Oh, my. They're shooting me. I'm not ready. Ah. Oh! They already destroyed me! Fine, I'll flamethrower! Oh, wait. <laughs> oh, that's not good. Uh, let's try that again, and we'll be quicker uh, to get out of there. Is it, I, can I hit spacebar to make it start? I can! Okay, go, 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 go! Go, go, go! Avoid the arrows! Let's take the long way around here. Oh my gosh, those guys are really going after me. Let's swivel the camera around. Okay! Flamethrower! It's not working. Burn! Burn them all! <laughs> I'm getting covered in arrows. Okay, let's get the smaller building. Oh, no. Oh. Okay, I don't think this machine is really working. And we need to figure out how to deal with these archers. They are terrible. Oh, they're not even pulling the... Ar Look at the arrows still in the bows. Cheeky. Okay, <laughs> so we need to figure out a different machine design. Uh, so, a water cannon. I wonder what water... Can oh, regular cannon? And a shrapnel cannon? Shoots if heated. No, what does that mean? Do I need to, like, set it on fire? Strange. Uh, but yeah, definitely I need to deal with these guys up here. So, 
let's put a cannon on front of the machine instead of the uh, instead of the drill. Let's go to the drill. Only one shot. Press C. Uh, can I angle this around? How do I angle it? I use arrow keys. No. It only lets me face it one direction. Unless I can rotate it once it's on. Hang on, let's see. Uh, is there a rotate tool? On dual. Aha, here we go. Click and drag. Oh, wait, no, that just rotates my machine. I want to rotate a block. That's a camera. Hmm. I can't seem to do that. Okay, let's go ahead and erase this, these cannons in because if we fire those. Uh, they're gonna kill us. <laughs> so it's C to fire the cannon. Let's go, cannon. What did it do anything? I didn't see it do anything at all there. <laughs> Let's see, where did it go? No, I don't see it. Oh, that's right, because it's the shrapnel cannon. I probably have to get closer. Let's try this now. Wait, here we go, and shrapnel. Oh my gosh, did you see that? Nice. Uh, it only does one shot though, which is kind of sad. Um, so I need to aim it maybe a little bit better. Let's see. I go like this. I need to get closer. And oh no! <laughs> Curse this machine! That's not good at all. Okay, let's get a regular cannon on here too. And fire this. Wow, why is it facing downwards? That's not good. That's not good at all. Uh, maybe if I do... Oh, you know what I need to do. I need to get some regular blocks out. we will make this wider up here. And I can put a whole bunch of cannons facing forwards. That seems like it would be a good a good thing. Okay, so... Uh, a regular cannon. Here we go. Aha! Now you guys are in trouble. <laughs> Is that overkill? It's just about the right height as well to get them. I love it. Okay, here we go. And... Cannons... Fire! Oh wow! Uh, that about destroyed my my uh, my vehicle though. I'm I'm on my side. I'm done for. Let's go ahead and just burn everything. Fine. Uh, hmm. Shall I replace it with the shrapnel cannon because that actually seems to do a better job? Uh, let's yeah. Let's put the shrapnel cannons on the left and the right here. I think those work better. Like this. They've got like a nice wide spread. So hopefully. Those will be enough, but I still don't really need to know what to do with the other buildings. I think these flamethrowers are also kind of too low, so we'll get rid of these. And uh, we'll put the flamethrower on the top as well. Like this. <laughs> That's great. Yeah! I've seen such amazing machines for this game, and this one is not one of them. Uh, how about if I put some wood panels, like armor on or something? Uh, brace. What does this do exactly? Let's try this out. Ah, okay. So that kind of uh, gives it a bit of a structural integrity there. That's cool. Let's put one here too. Nice. That makes it stronger. And get some wood panels on the front. What? Do you mind turning wood panels? What the heck? Why are you angled like that? That's really weird. <laughs> There's gotta be a way to rotate them, right? Use the middle mouse, right mouse, left mouse. Oh, whatever. Whatever, we'll just put some wood panels here. There we go. Definitely stronger now. Okay, you guys are in trouble. Here we go. Forwards and. Shrapnel! What? I missed! Let's try that again. Why is my camera off all the way to the side here? Okay. Here we go. Forwards and. Shrapnel! I got almost all of them! I, I can't focus my camera on the machine. There we go. <laughs> oh, I lost my wheels. Oh no. Forward and shrapnel. Okay, good. I think that's good enough. Let's let's go. Let's uh let's go take out the buildings. Oh, the last guy got blown up as well. I think actually there was a mine on the ground. Okay, let's get the camera. <laughs> Look at that guy rolling over there. Stop, drop and roll. You're on fire. Okay. So now I can do the flamethrower. Flamethrower, yes! It's just the right height. Awesome! This last building and we should be good to move on to the next level. 
Nice. Oh no, we caught fire! Oh no! We need to survive! Why is that building not destroyed? Yay! <laughs> awesome. Okay, next zone. It's definitely gonna get harder. Oh my gosh. The Queen's fodder. We have to kill 90% of everybody. 90% of everybody. That... That's gonna be tough with what I have right now. I, we'll try it with this machine, but I think it's not going to do the job. <laughs> Cannons! Fire! 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 <laughs> oh, they're like an army of ants. This is horrible. No! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think I got them all though. Somehow they all burned. Yay! <laughs> I don't think I deserved that, but I got it. Oh boy. Alright, next level then. Uh, steal and deliver two iron ore. I think these are the iron ores here, so I need to get them to that, that spot. Can I just push them or something? I don't think there's anybody attacking me. This guy is pretty scared. Don't worry, don't worry I'm just coming to steal your iron ore. I'm going to give it a push. Oh, yeah. Oh, that was easy. No, no. Fire. Let's see if physics is going to help me out. Physics did not help me out. <laughs> Let's try it again. Actually, I might just uh, go ahead and shoot that. Yeah. And then the other one I can give a good push. Maybe I can flame it into position. <laughs> Aww. This just makes me want to play Rocket League. Okay. I'm going to try again. Maybe, uh... Oh, we can save our... Oh, right. Yeah, we can save these. I don't think this is one really worth saving, though. Um, but we do need to change it up. Maybe if I add a scoop to the front, and we can just try scooping them into position. You know what I also want to do is I want to figure out how to make it so that this doesn't break so often. Can I use like a brace like this? Ah. That might make it so it doesn't break so often. Got to make sure I don't attach it to the rest of the the uh the construct otherwise it won't be able to turn. Okay, I think that makes it, I think that's definitely made it stronger. Uh so let's go ahead and get like a scoop. I know I saw like a half pipe or something. Where was that? Armor? Plow! Hey! That's actually, uh... Just about right. Why does it attach it on top like that? That's really weird. Okay, we'll just put it in the middle. There we go. <laughs> kind of looks like a goofy face now. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, we'll shoot this first one because that one's pretty easy to get into position with the flak... Uh, with the shrapnel cannon. Yeah! Oh no, the front of my... Wait! The front of my vehicle is still moving. Okay, maybe I can just use the front part to move it into position. <laughs> Yay! Oh man, I am the best at besiege. Oh, now I have to destroy something. A standing stone. That seems like it would be pretty easy to destroy if I had like a tall enough cannon. Hmm, how high is that? Yeah, let's make our vehicle a little bit taller and just stick some cannons on top. That might seem like a bit of a cop-out, but uh, it's, it's going to get the job done. Okay, let's get weapons over here. And, uh, yep, cannon. Let's just fill it with cannons. <laughs> this machine is getting more and more ridiculous as the levels go on. Okay, this should be pretty easy. Let's move it a little bit closer. And cannon fire! What the? What? Some sort of magical stone. It's using lasers on me. That's not fair. Hmm. Let's try again. Did I not get close enough? Let's just get really, really close and then cannon blast. Yeah! <laughs> it doesn't matter if your machine gets destroyed as well, as long as you complete the objective. Okay. So now I have to destroy... Use explosives to destroy. Okay. I don't think the cannons really count as explosives. So... Hmm. Let's try. Let's just try and see what happens here. Uh, cannons. <laughs> oh, the kickback is pretty bad, huh? Oh dear. 
Okay, so I guess we're going to start a new machine. I might go ahead and save this, uh, just because it has been useful. So we'll, we'll save it as uh, the Derp Machine version 1. Okay. <laughs> and we'll start a brand new machine, because uh, we need to do explosives. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and just remove these from the top. And then I don't need to start from scratch. Let's get rid of these. So I need to use an explosive. Let's see, what weapons do we have? A spike ball now. Ah, here we go. A boulder flaming ball. Remote grenade and a bomb. Okay, so these are what I'm going to need to use. Um, there's a holder for the bomb. So I need to make like a catapult, I guess. Which is going to be kind of tricky. Um, oh, these just move you around. Oh, look at these different wheels you've got. Cogs as well. Hmm. Those probably make some really difficult, confusing machines. Oh look, there's a steering hinge. Mechanical. Decoupler. Contractible spring. Wow. Suspension, slider, piston, spinning block, grabber. You know what I want is uh, just something that hinges. Like I suppose a steering hinge would do that? But I don't know if that would work I don't know if that's fast enough. Let's see how fast it turns. Like, is that fast enough to fire a bomb? I don't really think it is. Uh, so, let's see, what's all this? The flight stuff. Oh, you know what we could do? We could make a machine that flies and drop a bomb on top of it. <laughs> I think we could try that. So, there's the grabbers, right? The grabber, where is it? I thought I saw a grab. Ah, there it is. Okay, so we can put it underneath us with bombs. Lots of grabbers holding the bombs, and then just release the bombs. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> uh, do I, Can I make my machine go up? Here we go. Because I'm going to need to put the grabbers on the bottom. Actually, you know what? We are definitely going to need to start from scratch for this one. Because this is going to be an airship. So let's figure out how we're going to do this. We can make it sort of boaty. <laughs> Um, like this. I want it to be strong, so I'm making sure that it's got like a nice big flat base. Plus, I need to hold uh, several bombs, I think. I'm going to need at least four. There we go. And then we're going to put flying things on. Alright. So we can use that. An aerodynamic propeller. Small aerodynamic propeller, a wing. Do they do anything or do they just look good? Oh, here we go. This will give us buoyancy. Okay, so let's go ahead and we're going to do uh, some balloons on it. Let's put like a balloon at the front, middle and the back. I'm going to need something to actually move as well, but the balloons... Oh! Oh no, it's going through the top! Okay, let's move it down. And we'll put the balloons on top. There we go. Awesome. Let's see how high we can move this. Because I don't think we're going to go higher than the balloons. Uh, but I, I need underneath ground. Underneath it as well to, to put the bombs. Okay, that's good. I think <laughs> those balloons still look like they're going to give a lot of buoyancy. Let's try it out, actually. What the heck? Wow. They're actually attached to strings. Okay. Hmm. I'm going to need a lot more balloons, aren't I? Okay. Let's... Let's rethink this. Let's get rid of these balloons here, and we're going to put balloons on the corners. Oh! That's not what I wanted to do. How do I undo this? It's got to be an undo, right? Can I do Control Z? Ha! <laughs> Good old Control Z. Okay. Pop these here like this. Ah, this is going to be enough, I think. Let's see if that can carry it. Ooh. Barely. Whoop. Well, <laughs> it wants to take off. Uh, I'm definitely going to need some sort of flying block as well. So let's put these on here. <laughs> this is so ridiculous. Press O to fly. Okay. O to fly. Oh, you have to hold it down. Ooh. That's definitely making it fly though. And it's somewhat steady, I guess. Let's put some wings on there. Maybe the wings help it stabilize. Why is the wing facing the wrong direction? 
Okay, I wanted to face this direction, but it faces the wrong direction on the other side. Propeller. Uh, oh, okay. So if I have something that spins... Spinning block, here we go. Okay, spinning block. Uh, do I, I do I have anything that can control that? Probably not. Doesn't say any button to control it. Okay, so here we go. The propeller. Boop, boop. Like that. All right, let's see what happens here. <laughs> Why did half my balloons pop? <laughs> what pop? Oh, it was the propeller destroying the balloons. Oopsie. Uh, <laughs> All right, we need to put the spinning block just a little bit further out for the balloon so it doesn't pop them all. Uh, so let's go with this here. That looks like it should be far enough out. Uh, so the spinning block, where are you? Swivel joint. I don't think that's it. Where is the spinning block? Ah, here we go. Spinning block. Pop it right here. There we go. And we'll do the propellers again. And there, and there. Whoop, there we go. All right, let's see what happens now. What? What? Why? <laughs> why are you doing this? <laughs> what was making them pop? Oh, you know what? It's because of the spinning block. It's rotating the rest of the machine around. Ah, oh, why? <laughs> I needed to not be so strong, I guess. Uh, maybe. Oh, you know what? We don't even need a spinning block. What we should do is actually just put some more of those flying uh, spiral things on the front. Uh, since they only move when you tell them to move anyway, uh, maybe I can assign a different key to them. So here we go. <laughs> it's like a hypno thing. Here we go. Ah! Now if I press O, it should make me go f forwards. Uh, hmm. This is not very good at all. I think they actually made me front heavy. That might be what it is. Uh, so if I put the bombs more towards the back, then it should be okay, perhaps. Um, hmm. How do we do the control? How do we set controls here? Here we go. Control list. Oh no, that doesn't help whatsoever. Okay. Uh, wing panel. What is this? Put that on the back and put some wings on it. <laughs> I don't know what that is. <laughs> There we go. Oh! Oh, nice! That actually works quite nicely. I think it gives you a bit of like a, a nice gliding action when you put the wings on it. So that's really cool. <laughs> I think I've got too much uh, forward momentum though, so I need to actually go forward a little bit slower. Um, so if I remove two of these, let's see if that makes me go a little bit slower when I, when I hit them. Oh. Oh. What are you doing? What are you doing? That's not the way to go at all. <laughs> let's, let's try again. And ooh, ooh. Yeah, see, now I'm, I'm too back heavy. Uh, so if we go back to maybe two front propellers. Here we go. That gives me a bit of extra weight on the front again. Let's try. Ah, see, that's better. And then when I'm also doing the bombs, I can redistribute them to be a little bit more... Uh, towards the front, but I think I also need some more of these upward lifting uh, propellers, so let's put um, some more blocks on the side. I'm also worried I'm getting too heavy here. Let's put one here like this, and one here like this. Ah, there we go. That's exactly what I wanted to do. And pop these three here. So, I don't know why I'm doing it exactly. Oh no, it intersects with the wing. Well, that's because it's facing the wrong way around. How do I move a wing? Let's see, there's got to be a way to move it here. What's this basic stuff here? Basics, okay. Uh, key mapper. Wait. Oh, you can change the input. Oh. Oh, and you can change the flying speed. No way. Let's put those up to max. Get the extra lift that we need. So they spin with O, right? Um, but I can make these ones do I, perhaps? So then I don't start going forward until I actually need to. Let's see what this does now. So, oh, oh, it's a little bit left heavy. Why are you so heavy on the left? Oh, it's because I got those extra blocks. 
<laughs> I got the extra blocks on the left. Uh, but then I can press I, and then the front ones go. Okay, we're getting there. Uh, this is taking a little while, but we are getting there. Um, hmm. I really want to move this thing. Can I just move it somehow? Hmm. No. Free build mode. No. Don't want to do that. There's got to be a way to rotate this. If you know how to rotate them, please leave a comment in the description below. Uh, <laughs> leave a comment below and uh, hopefully then I can figure out how to do this. Uh, but anyway, let's go ahead. I don't think I need these side ones anymore since we've figured out how to do extra flying power on the front, on the uh, the middle ones. Uh, so I'm going to go and erase these blocks anyway. And we're going to go and put the grabbers on the bottom. So we can actually start putting some bombs on the machine. <laughs> so. Where's it grabber? It's in the mechanical thing. Where's it? There it is. And the grabber. I'll pop one here and here. Uh, let's try this. That might be too front heavy. I'm not exactly sure. I could always try putting some more balloons on if I need to. Um, but we need the bombs, which are here. Okay. Bomb on the bottom. What's gonna let me put a bomb on the bottom? Oh, why does it not let me do that? I thought I I thought I could put them on the grabbers. Maybe the the grabber can't start holding onto something. Maybe it needs to. Uh... Ah man, that's so sad. Hmm. What do I do about that? Maybe if I use a holder. Or something. That's not good at all, is it? Oh man. How are we gonna handle this? The grabber was my whole plan. <laughs> Without the grabber, I've got nothing. Hmm. You know what? I've got a I've got a better idea here. I've got an idea that's gonna work. Uh let's go ahead and load our our crazy dirt machine. Okay. And we're going to stick bombs on it basically we're just gonna suicide attack so let's get rid of all these on top and this and this and this and this okay now let's put bomb holders on it like that and here <laughs> oh no this is so bad and uh oh i can't put it on top because it's too tall let's get rid of some of these blocks and Put bomb holders here, and here, and here. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, let me put bombs down. Don't you try and stop me. Okay, here we go. This is what I should have done from the start, basically. I just go, 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 go! Go, go, go! <laughs> it's not going to blow up, is it? I need something that starts the bombs to go. Oh, here we go. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I got part of it. All right, so all I need to do is figure out a way to make the bombs jiggle off or something. Uh, so let's use, um, hmm, how do I set the bombs off? Maybe if I put a flamethrower back here? Oh, here we go. Oh, look at that. I'll start the flamethrower when I'm right ni next to the castle, and it should set it off. Okay, here we go. Let's get a nice little... I want to get in the corner of it, if I can. Whoa, whoa, careful. Careful now. Careful. Okay, here we go. And detonate! <laughs> yes! Oh my gosh, I can't believe how long that one took. That took way too long. 14 minutes, apparently. <laughs> All right, Midlands and Camper. I just need to destroy 90% of everything. Uh, let's go ahead and load our derpy one again. Actually, you know what? I want to try something different. I want to try spinning blades. Look at all these bad guys here. So we'll make like a tank with spinning blades, and I think that would be really cool. Uh, so let's go ahead and focus on this. We'll start a new vehicle. Oh, you know what? I don't need to destroy everything. I kind of want to keep the steering bits. So let's get rid of all this. Ba, 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 ba. Get rid of that. Here we go. 
All right. Now let's figure out how to get some awesome spinning blades on this thing. In fact, the wheels, I think, uh, there were some s spiky wheels, right? Where are they? Large wheel, unpowered wheel, motor wheel. I thought I saw spiky wheels. Hmm. How big is a large wheel? That's pretty large. Uh, <laughs> I like this small dinky wheel. That's funny. Uh, okay, well, I guess we'll just do uh, F to flip when... Oh, okay, weird. Let's just put our, our wheels back on here. Uh, but I think we can attach spikes to them. I'm sure of it. Ah, here we go. Circular saw. Pop it on those. Oh, is it because it's intersecting the ground? Oh, that's a shame. How about on the front of the vehicle? Can we do it like this? Ah, yeah, so we could, di we could drive into the bad guys. Are we the bad guy? I kind of feel like we're kind of the bad guy. Uh, and then there's also a metal blade. Ooh. Look at that. That is vicious looking. Oh, you know what we need to do? We need to get the spinner. Where's the spinner at? Uh, that was in mechanical. And then the spinning block. Put that here. Ah. <laughs> and then we can put the metal blades on it. Oh, but they're attacking the wheels. We can't have them attack the wheel. Okay, fine. We'll do it just a little bit taller. Pop it here like this. I hope it's not too tall for the bad guys, though. Because if it goes over the heads, it's kind of pointless, isn't it? Hmm. Was there a small blade? Perhaps. Oh, no, I got rid of one of my wheels. There we go. <laughs> I got it back. Um, okay, so let's get the spinning block again. Right here. And then there's got to be like a small blade. Metal spike, perhaps? No, that's too long. Cannon, that's not going to help us out very much. Um, hmm. Circular saw. Oh, you know what? There we go. We can just put that on the front like that. Oh, but it's it's on a spinning block. Uh, let's go ahead and make this um, like a regular block here. The wide ones. There we go. That also kind of looks more tanky, too. So let's get it braced up so it's nice and strong. Because we don't want it breaking. Okay, that's good. And then we get the spinning blades on the front. Yeah! That should be good. Oh, I, I think I can only do two. Or one. Uh. <laughs> How about drills? Drills, yes! There we go! That is evil looking. Okay, so I've got drills. That will deal with the these guys pretty well, I think. Um, maybe have some drills sticking out from the side. As well, just in case they they get up beside me, pop them like that. Uh, let's get some more wooden blocks in here. I want to be nice and strong. Nice and strong. We'll get some braces on top of them as well. So erase these braces. There, uh, erase these wooden panels. We get the braces on. Make us nice and tough. Okay, just like that. And can I do one across there? Oh, I can. <laughs> nice. The only problem is, is like this little hinge area is kind of weak. So I'm a little bit worried about that. Um, but I think this is pretty good. Let's get, um, let's get something on the back of us just in case everybody gets behind us. Uh, like a uh, flamethrower, perhaps? I kind of like the flamethrower because it, uh, it has infinite ammo. Unlike uh, the cannons and stuff, which only have one shot. Uh, so those should be good. Let's. Oh man, we could put some on the front as well. Oh, we are a death machine. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Our top's a bit exposed, but I don't think anything's going to happen to that. Let's go ahead and just try. Uh, so it's. Uh, I think that these things rotate automatically. The drills rotate automatically. It's just the flamethrowers that I need to fire. Okay, so here goes. Fire! Yeah! Oh man, I'm just tearing through everybody. <laughs> Oh, I'm not going to make it. I set myself on fire, but I, <laughs> I completed the level anyway. Nice. Oh my gosh, it's another one of those crazy magical monuments. Oh, I can actually rotate the camera underneath. That's pretty useful. Okay. Uh, I think I'm going to need to make a flying machine. My game just minimized. That was really weird. Okay. I think I'm going to need to make a flying machine for this one. Uh, but I didn't save my flying machine. Maybe I can make this thing fly. If we get rid of some of the... Uh, let's get rid of some of these extra things on it here. 
Let's make it fly. I mean, I'm even gonna leave the wheels on it. <laughs> so let's get some nice uh, balloons on it. Here we go. So balloons, 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 balloons. Intersects with the wheel. I'm so sorry. There we go. <laughs> and uh, balloon here. It's balloons here. And we'll do the flying things. It's not gonna be able to attach in there just fine. It's kind of not wanting me to put it down there, is it? Let's give it some uh, little wooden poles to go on top of. So one here. Like that. Uh huh. One here. One here. And then we'll do the flying things on top. I really want to fly, but I feel like this is just going to end terribly. You know, like that. Okay. Maybe. I, I need something on the front as well to... Uh, Give me a bit of forward motion. There we go. Okay, here we go. Fly, machine, fly! You're not flying. <laughs> I can't help but notice you're not flying. Um, yeah, that's not gonna get. That's not gonna get it at all. I'm too heavy. That's what it is. Let's get rid of the wheels. All right, the wheels. That will help. Um, I don't think a flamethrower is even gonna destroy this thing. So let's get rid of the flamethrowers as well. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Fly, 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 fly! What are you doing? <laughs> Where are you going? Oh, you're just gonna go around in circles, aren't you? I think, I think I just lost something there. Okay, that is not gonna work. <laughs> uh, let's get rid of those. Um, I definitely need some more forward motion and some more upwards lift. So let's go ahead and do the uh, the parameter altering here. Give these some extra flying speed. Okay, let's see if we can ease, even just make it to the monument. Let's go, go, go. Oh, I've definitely got the forward motion, but I'm still too heavy uh, by the looks. <laughs> I'm still too heavy by the looks. How about these balloons? Oh, I can make these extra buoyant. Nice, that is very useful. Let's get this one, and this one, and this one, and this one. And this one. Cool. Okay. Extra buoyancy! Yeah! Okay, that's... Uh, that's not great. That's still not great. <laughs> I'm just too heavy on the front. Maybe got too many of these things now. Oh my gosh, this is... Oh, the braces stayed, even though I got rid of the other blocks. That's really weird. Okay, how about now? Ah, I'm still too heavy on the front. Okay. Still too heavy on the front. Maybe if I get rid of this one here, uh, then I'll be a little bit more balanced. Oh, but now I don't have enough lift. This is this is just like a game of constant uh, changing of your machines and tweaking them. <laughs> uh, it would probably help if I made a better machine. Let's get rid of all this front stuff here. This is just not helping me whatsoever. Let's get rid of all that and that and that and that. All right. How do you do now, sir? Now you just, you just flip upside down, don't you? <laughs> oh no. Uh, hmm. You know what? I've got, I've got a pretty good idea. Which I know I've said before, and I know it's not worked out. Uh, but I'm going to make something uh, that can maybe angle a cannon to face that thing. I don't know if that makes any sense, uh, but if I can put some cannons on a on a hinge or something, maybe just angle it up and then fire. That seems like it could work pretty well. So let's go make this nice and strong so it doesn't fall apart when I shoot, because that's always a worry. Okay, now let's get the hinge thing. Where is it? So can I control the hinge? That's that's the main thing right now is being able to control the hinge. So let's put one there. One here, one here. Okay. I can't assign a key to it. So let's see what happens when I start. Oh, they just kind of fall. Oh. Well, that's interesting then. That that means I can just go ahead and um, I can put blocks on it and make sure that they're a little bit back heavy. Like if I have the cannons on the back like this. Here we go. And then they should fall backwards. Aha! And look at that, that looks like a nice trajectory. Alright, this is it. This is totally what I needed to do. <laughs> I think. Well, let's get some nice cannons on here. Boop. 
Boop. Boop. Okay. Fire! Oh! That was so good! That was so good, too! I think I just need to, um... Hmm. Maybe have some more on there. Let's see. Uh, so the hinge was... Where was it? This wasn't it. Where was it at? The regular blocks? Ah, here we go. Let's put some more on the front. And we'll build them just like in the back. Here we go. And then, uh... Like this. And I don't need to worry about the cannons hitting themselves because they're all going to be angled quite nicely. So a cannon here, cannon here, cannon here. And we'll move the whole thing backwards. So that we have a bit of extra trajectory. Here we go. Oh, it needs to be forwards. <laughs> it looks like the front ones actually got all hit as well. Did they hit themselves? Is that what happened? Oh no, they just went all weird. Okay, let's move ourselves forwards. Alright, here we go, monument. No! <laughs> <laughs> I missed! Fine. Okay. The, re the way we're going to solve this is just make the whole thing taller. <laughs> so we're going to give it nice big tall legs. Uh, which are totally going to snap when I fire. Uh, but that'll be fun. Okay, so we got some legs in here. Boop -ba -doop -doo. There we go. It's going to be like a table of death. The legs are really going to snap. Like, I'm not even kidding. <laughs> it already snapped itself. Uh, let's make it on the ground. <clears throat> There we go. All right, prepare to meet your maker. Yes, <laughs> I got it. Oh man, that's fun. Oh, I didn't click the next zone. Oh, I can go to the next zone. Well, unfortunately, I have run out of time for today. Uh, but thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please do give it a thumbs up and let me know if you want me to play some more Besiege. Uh, it's pretty fun. I definitely need to learn some more about building things better, though. <laughs> and also, you may have noticed this is the first video with a. A webcam on it. So let me know what you think about that too. And I appreciate it. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.